So today I'm going to be re reviewing the Greenworks GBB 700. Um, I got this. I uh, actually have two of these, um, and uh, it's a backpack blower. The unit separates from the backpack. The backpack is pretty comfy to wear. It's pretty heavy with the batteries. I use the uh, Greenworks 6 amp batteries, which it takes two of that you can fit into the backpack here. And when you use the machine, it uses the batteries, batteries sequentially. These are both fully charged, um, but it'll use up one battery, it'll click off, you pull the trigger again, and then it'll switch to the other battery. The, uh, the blower unit clicks right on here, um, and then you use it from the backpack. This cover goes on so that the batteries are protected while you're in use, um, and this is a convenient grab handle for it. Now, this backpack, because it separates, you can actually use this for other 82 volt Greenworks devices that take a battery. This is this is something I purchased separately. Um, but if you have something you want to get a long use out of, you click this in here, and then click this in here, and this um, oops, dummy battery will go and it tells you that it's fully charged. This dummy battery goes into whatever you're using, chainsaw, weed trimmer, um, whatever it is that will take a Greenworks 82 volt battery. We're not going to be using that today, but it's a convenient feature to have. We'll just keep that covered. It's a 170 mile per hour blowing force and I think it says 700 CFM but I think it's 690 CFM um, which comes out to 22 and 3 quarter Newton so this is pretty powerful um, it's you can buy gas backpack blowers that are stronger than this you know considerably stronger this is a couple years old now um, this year's model is 26 Newtons and then at the expo the model that they're going to release for next year is going to be capable of 36 newtons so they're making a lot of improvements um, as we come along i think the most powerful gas one right now that i know of is 46 newtons so they're still not quite there but definitely getting closer um, so here's our, our trigger design this is your control and then this is a throttle lock you can lock the throttle in and then this is your turbo button and this will tell you how much battery you have once it's plugged in and it <clears throat> like it says it, it will tell you how much battery is in the one battery that you're using when it's depleted this will shut off you pull the trigger again and it switches to the next battery and this just plops in here like that and then the backpack is pretty comfortable um, and soft it's, you know it gets a little warm in the summertime and it's it's fairly heavy but uh that's the unit and it's ready to go so let's blow some leaves with this thing and see how it does trigger cruise control turbo i got about 17 and a half minutes out of the first battery and then uh, I got about just just over 17 and a half, almost 18 minutes out of the second battery using turbo most of the time. Um, so about 35 minutes is what I wound up with a backpack with 12 amps of battery power. It does pretty good on the light stuff pictured here. Well, it does fine. Um, as you get down into the deeper, heavier stuff, you know, you can feel that it's not pushing as hard as a gas backpack would, you know, a, a big one. Um, so it's that, but for homeowner stuff, this is great. For light commercial stuff, it's good. For heavy commercial stuff, you know, it's still not a backpack blower, but it works.